Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of the chess grind. I'm going to try something a little slightly different today. I'm going to try playing with a longer time control, 15 minute with a 10 second increment. A lot of people have suggested for me to do this and I think I'm finally going to listen to that suggestion. So main reasons being I like to talk through all my moves so everyone can kind of understand uh, what I'm thinking about at any given time. But what that ends up doing is just me taking, uh, you know, a lot of time to talk and less time to move. So what I'm going to do is just give myself some more time to play the game and more time to talk as well. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Might be great, might be not so great. Who knows? Do, okay, uh, this seems like a really slow move. I think he's trying to set up some sort of pawn pyramid thing. Hmm. I could always try knight g5 and do one of the cheese ball things. But I think I'm just going to avoid that. I have an opportunity to castle here, so I'll just go ahead and castle. Um, okay. Sure. I think I might have an opportunity to take the center here. Looks like he only has two defenders. I have the same amount. <laughs> well, two if I count the queen. I think, um, how about this? I think he'll probably go for one of these next. I think he's going to go for a, a knight a5 type of move. Yeah, so I'm pretty glad that um, I gave my bishop some space to run here. I was thinking he would go knight a5, and then at that point my bishop would kind of be stuck. I guess I, I could have moved forward there too, huh? Mm, maybe that was the play, actually. Maybe moving forward there was the play to d5. Hmm. d5. Sort of pins his knight there. Hmm. I will go ahead and do this trade, I think. I suppose... Hmm. Kind of a waste of move here, but I suppose I could go for his rook here. Um, I would kind of get my bishop back in the square that I want. I could also go for g5. Yeah. If he wants to take the knight, that's fine, I'll just take with the queen and I still have eyes on his rook here. Um, I know he'll probably move it, but... Okay. Let's think about this. Um, I think it's fine to just stack the pawn, his pawns here. Yeah, so now his pawns are a bit awkward. Um, I do have check here at some point. I do need to keep that in mind. Do also have this move. I think that's just plain checkmate, isn't it? Hmm. This pawn's hanging. I do have checkmate. I suppose I can go f3 if he goes f6 to protect. If he goes f6 to protect, I can just move the queen back to d3 and then take the hanging pawn on d4. This is a developing move.
Okay. So that was expected. So I feel like I have some options here. I could force his pawns into a bad structure as well. h5, queen on h5. Hmm. I think I'm in a much better position here. Let's see, how can he really defend this pawn? I don't think he can. Yeah, I think I'm just going to snag the pawn on d4 there. Can he protect this pawn? I suppose he could push up here. But then he's just opening up so much of his 7th rank. Oh, I see, okay. That's a decent move. Hmm. Let's think. I don't want to lose the bishop yet. Maybe I should have just traded that piece off. No, uh, no, that would have been a bad idea. Do I just fall back to a2? I'll just fall back to a2. A little cubby hole's really coming in handy. He could go knight c6 to protect this pawn at this point. Um, I need to consider my other pieces as well. I'm kind of waiting to take this pawn before I throw the knight out. Uh, also, so I can push the pawn up to d3 as well. And I'm trying not to let the e4 pawn hang too. Okay. So I think, let's see, if I go back to d5. Hmm. Could always play a developing move and just move the rook onto the same file as the king. A lot of people have mentioned that once your castle and your opponent hasn't castled, it's a good idea to start pushing pawns up. Hmm. Okay, if I go d5, where can he really go? I mean, I suppose he could just go back, huh? He has e5 after this to attack the queen. So far so good, I think. I think the longer time control is is better for me. Um, yeah, his knight's hanging here, so I'm thinking I can attack this pawn, retake with the queen, and try to attack his knight here. And I really want to get the queen. Maybe this pawn push isn't the best move, but... No, he's got like three defenders on e5. I don't think pushing the pawn's a good idea there. I'll just go with c3. I want to get my knight out. Or would I rather take with the queen? 
I think he's sort of forced to take the pawn here. If he doesn't take it, obviously I capture with the pawn. Then his only defender there is the knight. Uh, his bishop is really stuck here behind these two pawns. Um, and he still hasn't developed three pieces, but then again, uh, I haven't developed two of my pieces. I think he kind of has to take here. Um, maybe it's better to take with the D pawn to let the dark square bishop breathe a little bit at least. That's a possibility. I kind of wish I would have tried some cheesy stuff uh, with knight on g5 when I had the option to do that. And when the bishop was on c4, d5, I think it was c4. Yeah. I think I might have been able to get away with that this game. Some people have mentioned that um, it's good not to worry about threats that don't exist. Um, but I think I've kind of played enough games to recognize that uh, when you have a light square bishop as white on c4 and the knight, uh, where does it go? Yeah, it develops to c6. Um, I've noticed that a lot of players like to attack on a5. Um, and then the b3 and c4 squares become attacked. So really your only option is just to go b3, which the knight takes, and then it kind of creates stacked pawns here. Um, so that's why I think this cubby hole idea here was, was kind of okay. Um, okay, I think what I would like to do is connect the pawns this way, and then let the dark square bishop go. I mean, really, I have three options here. It's take with the pawn. It doesn't really let any pieces out besides the dark square bishop. I could take with the knight. Um, but then do I have a great follow-up with the knight there? Maybe it's better to take with the knight. Could attack the bishop afterwards. This connects the pawns, lets the dark square bishop out. I think I'll just play a developing move. These pawns are still connected, worst case scenario. Um, okay. Okay, I see. So I think what I need to do here, so if he jumps here, he's got the fork on a2 and d3, um, and I don't want to let him have that. So I think what I'll do is trade a knight for a knight. He'll go for my knight. I can take his knight. Hmm. Can I punish b4, his knight on b4? Yeah, I kind of failed to recognize that he could just push his pawn there and get the attack going like this. So he will get the fork out. I wonder if I can do more damage. To him. Yeah, so really he can just win a pawn here and then the pawn's kind of stuck. Uh, I need to make sure that I can't get forked. Yeah, I need to be mindful of this fork here.
I'm starting to not like this square at this queen zone, just because of his knight here. Yeah, he can take, but I'll win uh, a bishop in the process. Still have five pawns connected on the queen side. Well, I don't know if they're considered connected, but they're not pawn islands, so they could connect in the future if they need to. And his knight's still hanging here. I see. So he'll take the light square bishop. Um, I think he... Sink. I think taking with the knights to play here. Takes with the knight, he can recapture with the knight, or he can take the light square bishop with his light square bishop after I move to b4. If he does, and he doesn't recapture with the knight, I can hop over to c6, and then essentially fork his rook, his queen, and his bishop. So probably at best case scenario, I'll win a rook. So I think this is the play. If we trade off bishops, I'm not too worried here. His bishop... If it gets onto a2, it really doesn't attack anything else after that. Okay, so he kind of he kind of went for it. So I think I'll be winning a rook here. He'll probably go here. Really? <laughs> Queen trade, huh? <laughs> I was not expecting that. I think I can get out of this somehow. Hmm. I am up a piece, but once he takes my queen, I don't have a great way to capture back here. Do I have any checks? Hmm. I do just have some free pieces here, huh? Let's think about this. I think there's a better move that I can play besides just taking his queen. Um, yeah, I do have a free pawn. Let me think, let me think. I think there's a good movement here somewhere. Hmm. I know the pawn is not an active threat, but... Hmm. Yeah, I'm really tempted to take this pawn or just move up and sp and really just, just play it safe here. Hmm. 
I think I'm just going to play it safe. I know I'm just up one piece. But... Yeah, I don't know. His, his bishop is trapped here. Let's see. I could take both of his bishops here. I want to defend this, but I need to be careful because his light square bishop is lined up here. I think I come out ahead here. Okay, so I have to be careful here because um, obviously if he takes, or if I take, he just has checkmate here. Uh, so I don't want to lose to that again. <laughs> um, I also have a mate if I potentially go here. Then I can snag his rook and at the same time I can attack his knight. If he blocks with his queen, if I go a8, I'd be okay to just trade queens off there. Um, I really need to make like an escape square for my king as well. If he attacks the queen, I'll just take his uh, rook. Um, okay, that's fine. He'll probably block with the queen. If he does, it's fine. I'm up a bishop and a pawn, so... Okay. Oh, I like the longer time control, I'll be honest. Maybe I have a better move too. I have kind of the sick fork. I guess he could always block. I think he would just block with his queen if he was willing to do that. I think this prevents him from uh, castling too, right? Um, sure. I know he'll retake, but this puts my rook out on the open file. Oh, um, that's fine. Uh, I kind of need to develop my bishop already. I'm here. I'm just going to make an escape square just so I don't get back ranked. Okay. Okay. Oh, kind of failed to notice that, huh? Okay, I really can't move my rook here. Mm. Man, this would be so embarrassing to lose. This would be so embarrassing.
This would just be super, super, super embarrassing to lose. All these crazy calculations and all this thinking through the moves and then you just get back ranked. Okay. I'm gonna connect the rooks. Um, I'll go for the trade skis. See, do, 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 do. It's going to be hard to win with just a uh, bishop. But we're ahead, so we'll trade off. Uh, there was a potential for a fork here. Bishop d4. I think if he doesn't trade off, I'll go bishop d4 and try to go for this fork. Uh, I think I should come out in the pawn race here. At a minimum, I'll snag one pawn here. Possibly. He'll probably move up. It's fine. He'll probably move up. It's fine. Think about how we want to do this. Let's think. Just have to like not screw up at this point. Easier said than done for me. Mm. Yeah, these are protected, so... Do not lose the bishop, whatever I do, do not lose the bishop. Whatever I do, do not lose the bishop. Do not lose the bishop. That's the only goal. That is my only goal. Interesting. Okay, how do we convert this? Think about this. I guess we can just try to pass this pawn if he tries to run it down. The, the, oh, was that an en passant moment? Ugh. 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 That's so lame, bro. Well, let's see. I can still catch him, right? Boom, boom, boom. No, I can't catch him. Ugh. 
Ugh, on pa sant. So lame, bro. Ugh. I can't believe that just happened. I should have just went for the normal trade. I think I could have caught him if I went for the normal trade. Ugh, what a bummer. I know, do I just hold on? All right, so it's my turn. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Boom, no, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I can still catch him. Maybe I just went the wrong way. I think he's going to have to go after this pawn. En passant. Oh no, now he's going to move here. Oh, that's fine. If he goes there, I'll just go after the other pawns. Or is that fine? Maybe I go defend this, in case he moves. Mm -hmm. I thought you were so sneaky. Um, I guess he's just going to have to have this pawn, huh? I think that's fine. I just need to let this one pawn run up the board. This is really awkward. <laughs> End games. What do I do? Maybe I just block him in. Run my king around or something. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I think I have to do this, right? Yeah, I think I have to sack the bishop so I can take his pawn. But then he's going to go run this way. Oh, jeez. Man. Maybe I just wait here so when he, like, puts his pawns here, I can take one or the other. Oh, he just runs his pawn if I take this one. Maybe I just try to push my A pawn up the board. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Ugh, feels bad. Feels so, so bad. Damn. Damn. Hmm. Do I just let him take this and run my piece up the board? Boom, 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 boom. Uh, you know, we're kind of running low on time, so I think if I try to save my bishop, he's just going to get a queen faster. If I let him take my bishop, I'm one, two, three, four moves away, but he's like one, two, three, so he's like one move ahead of me. I'm just going to risk it. I haven't calculated this through. <gasps> no, I should have taken that. Oh, my G. Oh, that's the ultimate feels bad. Oh, I should have just taken that pawn. <sighs> Ugh. 
There might still be a chance. Maybe we can trade queens off or something, but it's unlikely. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Play for stalemate, I guess. Oh man, I'm really regretting not taking his pawn there. I just, I should have taken my time there. Ah, oh, it's such a bummer. I'll be honest, this game was a real bummer. I had a one piece advantage there. I just, I just couldn't convert it. Bit of a bummer, not gonna lie. Had no blunders, I was surprised. Man, so where did I throw away the lead? Yeah, so I guess it was this move that I was kind of debating on pretty hard. Um, I don't want to review the entire game. I just want to see where it went wrong in the end game. Uh, okay, so we had a pretty big hard debate about whether or not to take this pawn. But here's what I was expecting to happen. I was expecting this. Oh. Right. Ugh. I just didn't see that. I just did not see that. Ugh. Yeah. Yep, just kind of failed to realize that. Okay. Well, let's just look through some of the moves and see if we could have done something a little bit different. There was one position to play here. Oh, bear with me. Okay, so the knight trade here. Open this up. Sure. Okay, so that was one move we could have done. Fair. Ah, I see. So move the queen over to b3, then I could have just taken the knight and the rook, followed up with the queen. Interesting. Hadn't thought about that one because his rook and his knight were trapped currently. Interesting. Ah, okay, so he found a good move there. There was one position that I was curious about. Yeah, so this position right here, I went back and forth on quite a bit, whether to take with the pawn, then he retakes, and then I have a really unfortunate fork. Um, or jumping there. So it looks like I found the best square for the knight. So I'm happy about that. Gosh, taking with the knight here, this seems like I just gain a pawn for nothing, right? Why is this the best move? Ah, then I get a free bishop out of this. I see. Did not consider that. Gotcha. So taking there was a mistake. Yeah, then I got the sick fork there. And then... Okay, so it looks like I found a decent move here. Yeah, I was... I was not ready to trade off queens here, so... Looks like I found kind of a roundabout way to get a bishop there. The trade was fine there. That's good. Okay, so all good moves here so far. So the trade was fine. I knew I was going to have a really hard time converting an, an advantage with a bishop. It's not really like strongest piece per se. Hmm. I wonder if I could have done something different here. 
I think maybe just moving the bishop here would have been a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, I think I could have just isolated his pieces a little bit more. Hmm. And then obviously the en passant really threw me off. I always forget about en passant. I haven't suffered enough pain through en passant yet uh, to really get used to it. But now I'm, 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 this is the second time I've gotten en passanted really hard. <laughs> And it's it's really coming after me. What else could I have done here? Oh, so block his uh, pawns from connecting. Right. Right, 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 right. Then I could have just nabbed nabbed this pawn eventually. Or even just uh, chasing this pawn would have been so much easier because all of his other pawns are blocked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Block the pawn. Makes sense. Really good move there. Wow, and I just threw this away. What am I missing here? Oh, I bet. I bet. Oh, bishop b2. Okay. I was thinking bishop e3. Potentially he's forced to take... Ah, but no, he still runs that way. I see. So yeah, bishop b2. No, that's like one move too late. e1, okay, e4. Ah, and then it wants the knight, or the king there, okay. So he, he naps the pawn. I see. Ah, I see. So that's kind of an obvious move that I didn't spot. Checks, captures, attacks. Right, because his king can't get in here. Right, so what would he be forced to do? Move down. Hmm, move away. Hmm. I kind of figured he would chase this down eventually, but I guess it wouldn't matter because I can just move it, huh? Hmm. And then what? So he moves here, and then I can start nabbing pawns. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, I think I've seen enough. Um, looks like I made a handful of decent moves throughout this game. Uh, three great moves. Didn't blunder anything super hard. Um, I just had a rough time in the end game, And uh, yeah, the end game got the best of me. So uh, the opponent played pretty well. He's got he got great accuracy. Um, I was not too far behind him, but this is just a game of having an advantage and throwing it out the window. Um, so cool. Yeah, it's a pretty good lesson here. Um, yeah, I'll have to think about this. I need to be really careful about the ampassant in the future. I think that's the that's one of the things that got me. There was probably a few other things that got me, but that was, in my opinion, the thing that got me the most. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.